friends, you're welcome to my channel today with me. So on today's uh, tutorial, I'll be teaching how to pedal machine. I want to give more details about how to pedal machine, how you can sew for machine perfectly for the very first time. This video was actually requested from one of my subscribers. He said I should do a video on how to pedal machine again to give more details. So this video is actually for her and I know it will be also be a benefit for others. So let's start now. I won't do much on the different things but I will concentrate on how to pedal and how to thread your machine and how you can sew perfectly. So let's start now. When you want to pedal machine, you first of all remove the shuttle and the ruler inside. So, shuttle and the ruler. So, when you want to pedal your machine, this is your hand wheel. The first place to touch. You touch your hand wheel. And this hand wheel controls the foot pedals. Here I'm keeping my leg now, my foot. Is the foot pedal. I hope you're seeing very well. So this is your hand wheel. You always roll it to yourself, not the other way. Whenever you want to so touch the hand wheel and roll it to yourself, and the hand wheel control the foot pedals. As your leg is on it, as your foot is on it, you will see the way the foot pedal is moving. If it's pushing the the this thing, if the hand wheel is pushing the foot pedal to front. That means you first of all pedal to front like this. Are you seeing? You go front like this before you come back. You continue going front and coming back. You continue like that, going front and coming back. If you sew like that and stop again, you touch your hand wheel again. This way now, as I'm starting now, the hand wheel is coming back. It's coming this way towards me. So as I'm rolling the hand wheel, the foot pedal rather is coming towards me. So you first of all press your foot down this way. When you press it down before you go up, you press it down, you go up. You keep sewing like that. I'm not balanced, I'm just trying to show you so that you see before I will turn the machine. So that is how you pedal. Let me turn the machine so that I can sit properly now. So you keep hand wheel again, you check where your foot pedal is moving. If it's moving backward, that is to yourself. You push your leg towards that way. You push it towards that way before you now go forward. You start from back. If you start like this and your hand will come this way again, you keep doing like that. Push it backward, forward, backward, forward. But if your hand will move like now, as I'm touching it, it's moving it's moving uh, uh, this thing towards, it's moving to front now. It's moving forward as I'm touching it now. So you first of all push it forward and backward, forward and backward, forward and backward. That is how you pay down your machine. Remember there is no thread here. For the first time, you don't need to fix thread because if you fix thread, the thread will tangle. You keep doing it. If you're tired, you can go and rest and come back again. You keep pedaling your machine until you know how to pedal. You touch your hand wheel, you check where your foot pedal is moving. If it's moving backward, you press it backward, front, backward, front. If it's moving to front, you have to press your foot to the front side before you move backward. Press it forward, backward, just like that. You keep doing until you know how to pedal. So let me start by, we want to fix thread now. So now I want to reel my thread to the reeler so I can fix thread to show you how to sew, how to thread. Now I will be using navy blue at the down part, the down thread, then I will use white. So let me reel the navy blue. When you want to reel your thread, this is how you put your thread like this you press it down with this your hand 
and you turn it like this, like this, like this, like three, four, five times. So when you finish turning like that, you can now turn your wheel this way. And you fix, you use a, you can use a broom, you can use a toothpick. I have nail here with me, just something that can pass through this uh, reeler like this. And there is another thing here that follows the machine. We are, we are supposed to be reeling thread here, but look at it. It's not working on this machine. It's not working. In most cases, this place is always a problem. It's not working like that. So look for a way to reel your thread. For beginner, you can throw your thread on the floor to reel. You can, for me, I always put my thread here like this to reel it. But for you, for beginners, you can put your thread, look for a container like this and put your thread inside. If you must throw it on the floor, make sure there is no fabric, there is no things that can tangle the thread. So if you have a container like this, you can put your thread inside like this and feather your machine to hold it like this and reel it. You must drag it firm. Make sure you're holding it. Don't just leave your thread small, small like that. You keep rolling, reeling your thread until it's full. But don't allow it to be too full so that the thread can move on this uh, shuttle. You fix your thread in like this. Let me cut the thread. So when you fix it in, don't allow the thread to be too full so that it can move. There's a, a slant uh, this thing here by the shuttle. There's a hole here where you bring out your thread like this. You see? You can cut this plate and you fix your shuttle in like this. There is a hole here that you press your shuttle, you will hear a sound, this back sound. When you hear the sound, you know that the shuttle is well fixed. So you close the slide plate back. And you thread your machine like this. So before I fix my thread, let me show you more, let me give you more details. After you peddling your machine, remember the shuttle is inside, but let's hold on for the thread. So let's, there is something we need to do. You can fold your fabric like this. Don't put thread yes, yet, sorry. Don't fix thread yet. Let's hold on for the thread. You can fold your fabric like this. You can leave it straight. When you... When you're doing the, this thing, the peddling of the machine, how to know that you're sewing well? You're actually doing the peddling of the machine well. Put a fabric, a straight one, put it on the bed mat like this, and be sewing, and just keep peddling. You will see that the fabric is moving like this. The fabric is going front. But if you pedal it wrong way, for instance, you, you touch the pedal, you pedal it wrong way. The machine now goes like this. You see that the fabric is coming towards you. You will know that you're not getting it right. You're sewing wrong way. But if you pedal it well and check where the, your foot pedal is moving and follow it, you see the fabric going, going to front. You see fabric keep moving to the front without you pushing. It's moving without you dragging it, it's moving. But if it's coming towards you, you know that you're not getting well, you're not getting it right. So, there's another thing you can do again you fold your fabric like this. How to know? Just leave the thread first. You sew straight, just keep sewing straight without thread. Why I'm telling you to leave the thread first if you fix thread. When you are not perfect in peddling of machine, you have issues that your thread will tangle inside, you will drag it out, the shuttle will fall out, all manner of things. So leave the thread first and first perfect your hand ordinarily without thread like this. How to sew a straight line. You keep doing how to sew a straight line like this, like this, until you know that your hand is strong. You can also even learn how to stitch. Without the thread, you can learn how to stitch. 
Me, I, I, I use this place to stitch. This is the foot lifter. I use the foot lifter. This is the foot, the foot lifter to stitch. But some persons use this uh, hand stitch to stitch. Where you lift it up, you double stitch your fabric. You just to sew the thread two times. That is the double stitch it for it to be tight and firm. This hand stitch. Where you, if you lift it up like this, then you double stitch your fabric. For instance, you're sewing, if the stitch is, is like this, I use eight, number eight, as a perfect stitch from seven to eight, give you perfect stitch. So if you want to tight, don't double stitch your fabric. For it not to lose, you lift it up like this, you have a tight stitch. You push your fabric, you push it backward. That is, you push it to yourself. When you lift it up, you push it to yourself and you bring it forward again. So that way, you double stitch the fabric. Just to make the stitches tight. You sew it like two times, three times. The stitches is now tight. Now, you can do this thing without fixing thread. So that you know how the machine functions very well. You become a friendly with machine before you can now fix your thread. But for me, I use this uh, foot lifter to stitch. If I want to stitch, I just lift it up and push it to myself and push it forward again. I've double stitch it now. So I can now continue my sewing. So you learn how to sew straight. You learn how to sew straight on your fabric like this, like this. Just keep sewing until your hands are strong. Your legs are strong. You now find your way around the machine. You can now fix your thread. Start to fix your thread. We have a thread stand there where you pin your thread. There's sometimes it's two. In fact, it's two in most cases. It's two in machine one year and one year. This one has full of. I don't have it so i will be using this down one so this is how you pass your thread i've already fixed the inside one remember i've already fixed the inside thread so this is how you pass your thread when you pass it like this so like this you bring it like this again then so you place your thread on a thread guide here yeah? there is a thread guide here yeah? and you pass it to the tension regulator the tension regulator you pass it this way like this and you bring it out again like this so you make sure you can cut your thread i like cutting the thread for a smooth edge so you can now fix your thread on a thread lifter now this one is thread lifter then we'll have another thread guide close to the needle we have another thread guide close to the needle here where you fixing your thread like this just for the thread to balance well then you fix it to the needle now you fix it from this back to this front you pass your thread like this to this side you pull it out like this then you point your needle inside there is a shuttle and reeler inside, you remember? So you point your needle inside to bring out the down thread. So this front will pick out the down thread, you see? The two thread is now coming out. I use navy blue inside and white, off-white at the up. So for you to see the two thread, how it's working. So you cut it and you push your thread like this. You use your hand to balance it like this. And put it at the foot end. This thing, and now you can now sew with thread and see how it's working. So, if you follow all of this process, you will not have issue. Your thread will not be tangled like that. I know for a start, it's always somehow, but you will get there. If anybody can do it, then you can also do it. If you are doing it, that means you can do it better. So you pedal it. You stitch your fabric from the beginning like this. You top stitch it before you continue sewing. Make sure 
you sew is thread, the way, same way you sew the other one without thread. You keep sewing like that. You keep sewing like that. You keep sewing like this. Continue sewing. If you are tired, you can go and rest and continue again. Towards the end, you double stitch it. You top stitch your stitches to make it tight. You can use this uh, thread lifter, you can use the hand stitch, but I don't like touching this hand stitch too much because this is the setting of the machine. What is I don't like touching this hand stitch too much because this is this is stitch. This thing that is giving us this sewing now. This is where we use, if you want to set for gathers, you can bring it down to sew for gathers. For a normal stitch, you can use this number 8. So I don't like touching it. I like using the foot lifter. And you can hem it big. You can hem like one inch, one and a half. Like this one is more than one inch. This should be one and a half here. You hem it like that. You double stitch it also. You keep sewing. You continue sewing until you're perfect. You double stitch it also. So when your hand is moving like this, you now know that you're perfect. You see the down thread, the navy blue, and the white. See how beautiful it is. So you now know that you're perfect. You can now start sewing all that small, small things. Start from the little, little things. You can sew baby clothes. You can sew skirts until you're great. On this channel, I promise to be giving you, taking you step by step for perfection. Thank you so very much for watching my subscribers and thank you if this is your first time of stopping by on this channel please subscribe please do well to subscribe to support me and also give this video a thumbs up i promise to bring more i have a lot to bring to this channel thank you so very much